Scouring the south of England for dinosaurs now on BBC4 in the last episode in this series of Fossil Detectives. Life began here in Britain more than a billion years ago. And when dinosaurs and other strange creatures roamed our land, they left fascinating clues behind. The fossil detectives are on the trail of that evidence throughout the British Isles. We'll track down an amazing new dinosaur discovery. Reveal singer-songwriter Billy Bragg's passion for fossils. And find out why the Isle of Wight is one of the best places to go dinosaur hunting. We're here in the south of England to get a tantalising glimpse of the dinosaur's dramatic past. And the evidence for that is all here, in the rocks, in the landscape and in the fossils buried deep inside. We're here to find and analyse that evidence, to unlock the secrets of the past and discover lost worlds. So get ready for some time travel with the Fossil Detectives. <laughs> of England is one of the best places in the world to go dinosaur hunting. Millions of years ago, all kinds of fascinating creatures were living here. And throughout the landscape, you can still find evidence of that past life. Incredible new discoveries are happening even today. You just need to know where to look. I grew up here in the south of England in the village of Cookfield. When I was a little girl, you just got used to the idea that dinosaurs were on your doorstep. People have been finding prehistoric remains around here in Sussex for centuries. As a child, I saw the world differently. It's easy to take for granted the mysteries of the past when you're surrounded by them, as I was. I used to come and play here with my cousin Shona when we were little. But I have to admit that back in those days, I didn't spend much time thinking about the scientific importance of the place. We were far too busy climbing trees, rummaging around in the mud, looking for treasures of our own. But now, I feel immensely proud to have a link to a place and to a person that together changed history. Back in the early 1800s, there was a quarry at Cookfield. An amateur paleontologist called Gideon Mantell, a doctor by profession, was one of the many fossil hunters who came to the site. And it was a fossil found here that led him to make the most incredible fossil revelation of his day. That giant land-dwelling reptiles once roamed the earth. The fossil that inspired Gideon Mantell was a dinosaur tooth. But it took a while before other scientists accepted Mantell's idea that dinosaurs ever existed. Eventually, he won through and named the giant lizard Iguanodon, meaning tooth of an iguana, having made the link between the smaller modern reptile and the giant from the past. And this was just the beginning of an amazing scientific adventure. Across the Solent, on the Isle of Wight, you can discover more. Gideon Mantell's Iguanodon Tooth was the start of the Iguanodon story. <laughs> <laughs> 